everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a solarized photo effect in Photoshop. So let's begin. I'm going to show you how to do this in both black and white or color so you have the option. So first off, let's create a new adjustment layer and that'll be a black and white adjustment layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default settings, but if you wanted to make some color channels darker than others, you could do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer, and that's a curves layer. Here's where we're going to create the reversal of only certain parts of the image. So as you can see, in the curves layer, you have a chart of all the dark to light. So what you want to do is just go ahead and create an anchor point right in the middle, and then you want to take the shadows or the dark parts, and we're just going to flip them upside down. But since we created that anchor point in the middle, all of our highlights remain the same. And this is what creates that unique, only partially reversed, solarized effect. Now to play around with this, you could drag the center anchor point down to add some contrast. Or you could even create, instead of a U, you could create like a W. So you could add two more anchors on either side and create a W, which will just create another layer of reversal. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at a U. I think that looked pretty good. So it's really that simple. Just adjust it based on your photo. Now, this effect also looks cool in color and that's why we were working with adjustment layers because you could always hide the black and white layer if you want to have a colored solarized photo. So this gives you the option to do it either in color or black and white, but either way, it gives you an interesting kind of abstract photo effect as your final result. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to create a solarized photo effect in Photoshop. If you did have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll help you out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for weekly Photoshop tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.